When you plan to travel Sumatra in Indonesia, you need to go to Bukit Lavang. Bukit Lavang is a small relaxed town on the riverside and you will see loads of monkeys over here. It's also the place where you can see orangi tanks, so you can do some jungle trekking over here and in this video I will tell you how to do it. So how to get to Bukit Lawang? When you stay in Medan and when you read your guides, they will probably say that you need to go to a bus terminal called Pinang Bares. We went to Pinang Bares and all the ticket counters were closed, there were strange people walking around and we didn't really know which bus to take. So we went back to the main road next to Pinang Bares and there are many buses driving around. So we just talked to one of the bus drivers and he asked us where we want to go and we said we want to go to Bukit Lawang. So he took us to Bukit Lawang. The ticket costs around 25,000 Indonesian rupees, which is around about 1 euro and 65 cents. Here on this map you can see where we took the bus. So have a look, see if you find a nice looking driver. It's probably a better way to take a bus from around here than taking a bus from Penang Bares. The bus ride takes around two and a half hours. So when you go to Bukit Lavang, it's good if you book the accommodation in advance because this means that they will send someone to the bus terminal close to Bukit Lavang and they will pick you up. You still need to take a bed track to the actual town but this is not a long ride. This will cost you around 5000 Indonesian rupiah. There are many guest houses in Bukit Lavang along the riverside. Do some research before you go there because some of them are a bit higher up in the hills. So you need to carry your backpack up the hill if you stay there. We stayed in a guest house called Garden Inn which was really nice and this costs around 150,000 Indonesian rupiah to 200,000 Indonesian rupiah for a double room. But this was in low season, in high season the prices are a little bit higher. It's still a good price, but you have to remember one thing, there is no ATM in Bukit Lavang, so you need to take your money before you go there. In total we took around 3 million Indonesian rupiah for the two of us, so this included accommodation, food and the tour. And also the bus going back to Medan. If you want to have some extra beers in Bukit Lavang, you maybe need a little bit more money. So let's talk about the actual jungle trekking tour. There are several ways how you can do jungle trekking and what you can see. You can see orangutans and you can even do tiger tours which I wouldn't really recommend because we talked to other people and we heard it's really scary. But if you want to do the regular tour to see some orangutans you have several options. You can do a one day trekking tour which means one day in the jungle back and out. You can do a two day tour or a three day tour. We did the two day tour which was really good. You go in the jungle, you stay there for one night, you're quite deep in the jungle, you're on the riverside which is nice to cool down, you get some amazing food and it's just a really relaxed atmosphere. You will see a lot of monkeys on the way, we saw gibbons, we saw Thomas Leaf monkeys and we saw orangutans. So in total we saw around 7 orangutans, 3 of them were babies. So you get really close, some of them even walk next to us. This is an experience you won't get anywhere else. So if you do a two day jungle trekking tour, you pay around 60 euros and this includes food of course and sleeping in the jungle which is just a mattress on the floor. And you can pay an extra 10 euros to do the whitewater rafting out of the jungle. This is amazing and I can tell you after walking around in the jungle for two days, you just wanna raft out of there and you don't wanna walk back. So you will definitely enjoy the rafting and you maybe even see some lizards on the way back. So how to actually book the tour? We booked it in the garden inn, so in the guest house where we stay. This is an option you have. Ask in your guest house. They will tell you which guide to take. What people told us, it's always 60 euros for a two day tour. There are also many guides walking around in Bukit Lawang, so basically every Indonesian you meet is probably also a guide. But be careful, maybe talk to other people, they will tell you this guide is really good, the other guide is maybe not that good. We heard some stories, so it's always better to double check with other people or the staff of your guest house. Our guide was called Sinan, he's almost a monkey. He even trained orangutans to climb, so this guide was just amazing. Another advice is to ask how many people are in the group because you can do a private tour but you can also have like four, six, eight people in your group. Of course, the bigger the group, the less you will see. There are also several ways to leave Bukit Lavang. We took a public bus from the bus station where we arrived. 
this is actually a quite cheap way to get back to Medan if you want to do so. There's also the opportunity to book a bus at your guest house. In our guest house, some people took a bus straight to Lake Donatoba, which is also a good place to go when you travel around Sumatra. Thank you for watching this video. If I could help you to understand how to get to Bukit Lavang, how to book a Orangi Tang jungle trekking tour, please give me a thumb up. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos and if you have any questions, just write a comment. If you want to know how to get around in Vietnam, click on this video. If you want to know how to see the amazing caves of Phong Nha, click on the video below. Thank you for watching.